Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the third video in this series, social information networks that I've started. So in this, the previous videos, we've discussed how uh, weighted graphs are different from non-weighted graphs or unweighted graphs. And we've discussed how directed and undirected graphs are different. Uh, we've discussed how the edge lists can be uh, written down and how we can make the adjacency matrices and which, which, which will further be used in mathematical calculations in the future. So all this we've discussed in the last two videos. So in today's video, as I have mentioned, we will be discussing ego networks and whole networks. Now, what is an ego network or let's start with a whole network. So basically a whole network is nothing but or an entire graph. Okay. Whole network is just any graph, any simple random graph that you take is a whole network because it is complete. It is a whole. So let us uh, draw a sample graph here. I've taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven nodes here. Okay. So I've taken seven nodes here and this is my whole network because uh, all the nodes of my network are present here and it is a whole. So therefore it is a whole and that's why I'm calling it a whole network. Now what is an ego network? From the name itself, you may understand that an ego network is basically, uh, an ego network is basically what? It is the entire network from one node's perspective. So if you look from one node, what is the entire network? That is what an ego network is basically. So ego is basically like self obsessed or self, uh, you want, you want only your perspective, right? That is what ego is. So in this case, uh, an ego network is basically the network, the whole network from the perspective of one particular node. So what will let's look at the ego network of any one of the nodes. So let us look at the ego network of node three. This is node three, right? So what all nodes? Okay, let's connect one and three also. Okay. So now ego network of node three will be will be what? So if three looks around itself, what can it see? Three can see two which is directly connected. It can see one, it can see four and it can see five, right? So this is what three can see. And it can obviously also see that one is connected to two and two is connected to five. So basically it will know all about the nodes that are connected to it. So what all other nodes are or how the nodes are interconnected, how the nodes that it is connected to are interconnected. This much information it will have because uh, obviously it's, it's ego. So it knows uh, it, it just looks at the nodes that are around it or that are directly connected to it. So this is what an ego network is. So ego network of node three looks like this. It is basically the, and the network or the whole network from three's perspective. So three is connected to one, so it can see one, three is connected to two, three is connected to five, and three is connected to four. And also one is connected to two and two is connected to two, five. So that is also visible to three. Okay. So, or that is also considered by three. So that is why we are uh, calling it an ego network. And this is the ego network of node three. Now, let us look at another important aspect or another important use case of ego network. So now an Im another important thing basically is that we need to look at the ego network, but without the ego node. So what is the use of this? The use is that we will see how the network or the ego uh, network of three behaves or is uh, acts when three itself or the ego itself is removed or the ego is not there. So let's say removing the ego, 
ego is basically the node with which or the node with respect to whom we are making the network so looking at that what would that be we have our one we do not have three so there's nothing there so one is connected to two two is connected to five and four is alone right so based on this what we get to know is if you remove three four becomes entirely disconnected from one two and five right so so for four it being connected to three might be very important for it to be uh, well connected similarly we also understand that two can connect it connect to one and five even without three they do not need the help of three right so basically this is the ego network of three ego network of three without the ego right so usually in real life we will be considering ego networks only more in order to analyze or understand how these uh how the graph or how the social networks work so what we understand from this is that an ego network is basically a subset of the whole network in which we are giving more importance to one particular node which is called the ego okay so that's all i have about ego networks and whole networks i hope you got to learn from this and if in your exam you will be asked to draw the ego network of a particular node given the whole network i hope you will be able to do that thank you for watching if you have any doubts or questions you can comment or reach out to me on the social platforms that i've given in the description below so if you've liked this video or learned something from this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and i will see you soon in the next video where we will be discussing the what else we can understand from edges and edge weights we will understand the different properties of graphs that is uh, the degree centralities how you are measuring the nodes in a graph the degree centralities the betweenness centralities and all these we will understand as we move forward in the next videos okay so thank you for watching and i'll see you soon